Hello everybody and we're back! My name is Mashmar and I'll be your host this evening. Just, uh, in the last episode, we just went out of Doc Mitchell's house. And, oh boy, if we got a nice view. <laughs> um, so, we're gonna... Victor, let's talk to Victor. Howdy, partner! Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Thanks for digging me out of that grave. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. How did you happen to find me? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. I've never seen a robot like you before. I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. Will do. Uh, let's see. Goodbye. Happy trails! Uh, I'm just gonna drop down my mouse sensitivity. Since my computer is set on the highest. Then... Ugh. Okay, this was really slow. <laughs> Wait, just gonna. If we have it on one, then perhaps. Yeah, that's all right. So yeah, Good Spring General Store and Prospector Salub. Um, if there's any people watching this that that hasn't played this game yet, in the bottom left corner you can see a uh, dot blinking you can also see it's a GPS so now we're looking west and if we turn this way we're looking at north east and south so now we want to head north towards that blinking dot that's our current objective and uh, so if I go into the quest we have this quest selected back in the saddle we talk to Santa Smiles in the prospector saloon and then it will place a GPS spot. So whatever, <laughs> whichever direction I'm facing, it will always point at the correct location. So we're gonna head into here, Prospector Saloon. Cheyenne, stay. Sun smiles. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Doc Mitchell said you could teach me how to survive in the yeah, desert. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Will do, will do. Uh, oh, <laughs> now we got that, um, uh, that hint that I just mentioned to you. <laughs> uh, no, I don't want to steal anything. So let's head out the back and see what you want us to do. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. What? That was totally... What? That's the right idea. Look on the site. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Nice well, shot. Crouching. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sass. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from my water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Oh, we don't have to Did do yourself. the tutorial. <laughs> I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, 
She's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. All right, we'll head into the saloon and see what you want. Oh, yeah. Just head in the back. Howdy. I'm done. So nice. yeah. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends, and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. Up, town mama. <laughs> well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Thank you. Looks like our little town got itself dragged in the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock, so we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Where's Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Why not just kill Cobb and be done with it? You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. What are you going to do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. So of course, helping Ringo would also make the powder gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. So, yeah. We got a new quest uh, going for us. Let's take a look at that. Um, offer to help Ringo deal with the powder gangers. Uh, since I've played this, get out of the way. Since I've played this game before, um, I played as a bad guy, so I was helping the powder gangers in my um, my last playthrough, and I also joined the Legion. Uh, so in this playthrough, I'm thinking of helping the NCR, which is kind of like the police force, uh, while the powder gangers is like the gangsters or the rebels, the bad guys, you know. So, ooh, some sodas. So yeah, I'm gonna be, pl be I'm gonna be playing the uh, good guy. That's close enough. Who are you? And what do you want with me? Hi, Ringo. <laughs> Uh, I'm not an enemy if that's what you're asking. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of caravan? You know how to play? Uh, I do not, um, so I'm going to decline. Did you know there's a man named Joe Cobb looking for you? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. <laughs> And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. What are you going to do about the powder gangers? I'm going to lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Maybe I can help. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... I'll ask around to see who I can round up. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Gotta check through these crates. Gotta wrap some stuff. Ooh, boxing times. Mm, right. Oh, doctor's bag. Sweet. Why not? Let's take it all. Um, whiskey. That's good. You can sell whiskey to earn some cash. Ooh, bottle caps. Uh, take it all. Hmm. Sweet.
we got a lot of sodas. So right, let's run back and have a word with uh, Sunny Smiles. I want some radio going. Now that's better. I'm guess guessing she's still inside the the saloon. Sup, Easy Pete. I'll be talking to you soon. Just gonna check with Sunny Smiles. Hello. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? I want to help Ringo take on the powder games. I might need your help. Say no more. I'm in. Oh, sweet. <laughs> well, that was easy. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo, but I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. Any idea on how to convince Trudy to join us? A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. All right. Uh... Not in Good Springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. If you want to take a shot at it, take these. Always happy to help someone down on that. All right, so let's go and convince all I'll the other waiting. citizens to join our cause. Let's start with Trudy here, see if she... Hey. I'm gonna run over. Uh oh. Um. Yeah, so you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang? It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Yeah, we got a speech. Um, for those of you that don't know, since I spend a lot of points into my speech tree, um, listen. This is an example of conversation option that has been unlocked because of my high speech skill points if that makes sense <laughs> so yeah uh, you should help me to take down the power gang bullets explosions a lot of fun I was planning on sitting this one out but for some reason I can't help but like you I'm with you let Sweet. me have a word with a few other folks and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating while everyone does own a gun we could stand to be a little better equipped. A general store probably has what we need in stock. Sweet. 25 experience points. Uh, goodbye. Be careful out there. And now let's head out. Uh, yeah. Let's talk to Easy Pete. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? Too dangerous. Gonna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. Well, here's an example where I don't have the uh, necessary explosives uh, skill points to uh, be able to succeed with this uh, conversation, conversation uh, choice. So I'm just gonna say never mind and. Yep. Uh, I'm just gonna Keep go. Your gun handy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, then let's run to the general store and we'll have a chat with. What's his name? Chet? I think. Yeah, Chet. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. 
Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus. Yeah. Um, I need supplies to fight the powder gangers. Now gangers. just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Oh, I got the necessary barter skills. Let him take over the town then. I'm sure your business will be much better off. You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. Worse. Alright. Well, at least we got some ex experience points. And we also got... Got some leather armor. Sweet. Um, uh, if we look right here. Uh, on the DT. It's got DT6. Which means damage threshold. Uh, so it's gonna protect us a little bit more. Uh, it waits a little bit more and we don't get the perks of speech which we did with this fancy looking uh, <laughs> thing but at least now we're protected so yeah gonna run up the hill to Doc's place again and we'll try to convince him to give us some uh, medical supplies He's a dick if he doesn't give us give us them. <laughs> I mean, it's heal the townspeople or letting us die. Sup, Doc? Welcome back. I had hope you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? The town is going to be attacked by bandits. Anything you can do to help? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce. But I'll give you what I can spare. Cheers, bro. Alright, we should be take care now. good to go. I'm going to run to Ringo and tell him that I managed to gather up some people. I'm just going going to ignore Easy Pete because he's a stubborn old man <laughs> that doesn't want to give up his dynamite. Do I seriously look like a guy that can't handle dynamite? Just look at me, I look fucking badass. <laughs> Can handle any type of dynamite. So alright. Sup Ringo? Let's chat. Oh you're gonna sit down alright, okay. So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Sonny's with us. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. Let's do this. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. Let's go. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. Uh, one thing I have to do though is check my control bindings uh, to see where I have bats on B. Alright, we're going to need that bat if we're heading into battle. Uh, let me just see what weapons I have. DPS 12, damage 7, damage 9. So this stupid uh, vermin rifle is like the best weapon we have right now. Alright, there they are. Um, hey there. Let's do this. So, this is the VAT, um, it s simply stops time and 
using the action points in the down right corner we can choose any body parts that we want to aim at and it will automatically fire for us using these action points so I'm just gonna aim for I'm going to aim for the head I managed to uh, fire off two bullets with the action points that we currently have so let's see how it turns out we got a 36% of hitting the head so let's hope that we hit it just gonna press accept and we'll shoot boom one hit and we're back into that reload For your overwhelming monstrous behavior, you have become willified by the community of the power powder gangers. Enough news of your good work has been passed around that people like you in Good Springs. That's nice. So the people in the town like me now. Oh, got 50. Oh, I leveled up. Sweet. And Ghost Town Gunfight Quest complete. That's awesome. And we leveled up. Sweet, welcome to level 2. We got 13 skill points we need to assign. Um, I'm going to put one on speech just to get to 40. <laughs> because my OCD. Same with the barter gun we can put to 30. And then we need to bring up... I think we're gonna bring up the science, the repair and also the medi medicine. And we're gonna continue. And we also get to put a perk. Confirmed Bachelor. In combat you do 10% damage against male opponents. Outside of combat you'll sometimes have access to unique dialogue options when dealing with the same sex. Oh, Lady Killer is the same as Confirmed Bachelor, but uh, female opponents instead of male opponents. Oh, Rapid Reload makes all of your weapons reload 25% uh, percent faster than normal. That's pretty good. Uh, but... I think we're going to go with the Swift Learner. With each rank in the Swift Learner perk, you gain an additional 10% of total experience points whenever experience points are earned. Which means that whenever we kill something or complete a quest, we gain 10% more experience points towards our level. Uh, actually, I want to put one at intense training as well. Let us put a single uh, point into our special uh, special attributes. I'm going to do that first actually and then we can do the swift learner because this got three ranks as you can see uh, you can choose it three times each time level up uh, oh this got ten uh, <laughs> okay never mind uh, let's do the swift learner for, for now Bam. oh Ringo what you want I owe you a huge favor for this Hundred here caps. these are technically crimson caravan funds but I know they'll understand once I explain things you are welcome. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan Camp. Will do. Peace out, hoes. So, what we'll do now is loot some bodies. Get some rounds. Cabaret dynamite. And shotguns. We... I don't need that powder ganger outfit. I... I don't want to run around with powder ganger armor just so that people won't mistake me for one of them. Since I'm trying to play good guy here in this playthrough. Uh, yes. Ooh, revolver sweep. Stealth boy, that's nice. If we want to do some stealth thing, ninja and stuff. Single shotgun. Did I loot you? I did not. Pack of cigarettes. Sweet. Did I loot you? I did loot you. Sweet. So we got some nice gear going. Uh, I'm going to repair this parameter rifle with this other one. I'm going to combine them. Also this single shotgun. I can use the other single shotgun to repair some of, some of its damage. Uh, so we. I'm gonna put on this 
how I had, just because I want to look badass. Which I obviously do. So, yeah. We got that going for us. Let's see what our quest is. Um, they went that way. Inquire about your delivery assignment with the administrators, administrators <laughs> of the Mojave Express in Prim. Hard word. Uh, and second objective is find the man who tried to kill you. So do we have a quest point? Yes, we do. Let's uh, open up the map, see where we want to head. We're here in Good Spring now, and we are going to head this way to Prim. So that's what we will be doing in the next episode. I think we have done enough for this episode. <laughs> Taking out the power gangers and helping the people of Good Springs. So yeah, thank you for watching this episode, second episode of the Fallout Let's Play series. And uh, yeah, subscribe for more of these kinds of videos. <laughs> And um, if you enjoyed this episode, please drop a like. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the ne next episode. My name is Mashmar, and I've been your host this evening. Have a good one.